Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic with Vanderpump Rules. That's right, more Vanderpump content. Tom Sandoval clarifies the Ariana t-shirt comment, blames boring sex, says, I didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't shaming her. I just think she was boring in bed. Um, and then he also corrects the media lie, where I'm going to agree with Tom Sandoval. A broken clock is still right twice a day, unless you're in the military, and then it's right once a day. Unless it's working a little bit, but not completely stopped, in which case it's probably only right every week or so. The point is, is we're going to get to this right now. Follow me on Instagram at dneals. If you enjoy my content and you like what we do and you want to donate to the Patreon, it's $5 a month, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. You can sign up whenever you want. You can, you know, whatever. But if you enjoy what we're doing over there and want to be a part of that community, there it is in every afternoon Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast. Okay. So before I get into what Tom said, because they do have him right here on TMZ. Raquel doing a lot of asking about Raquel, asking about Ariana. Before we get to that, let's just do a quick VPR recap from last night. Raquel brought Ariana flowers the morning after igniting affair with Sandoval. So they aired this post three episode reunion recap, which was called new secrets revealed footage. And it was one of those things. It didn't have any new interviews. It didn't have any bombshell moments or anything like that, but it showed scenes where Lala was saying how shady it was that Raquel was hanging out with Tom. And people were like, well, Raquel's friends with Tom and Ariana. And people were like, yeah, but she's really friends with Tom. So the new secrets revealed footage showed Raquel visit Ariana, who was grieving her beloved dog just hours after having sex with Tom Sandoval in her car outside the longtime couple's home. Yes, car sex. Is car are we a fan of car sex? Maybe I'm too old for that, but you know, you, you hook up once in a Mazda Miata, you get a bad hip from it. You know what I mean? Is it a stick shift or am I just happy to see you? You know, that type of deal. The morning after she first hooked up with Tom, Raquel bought his then-girlfriend Ariana Flowers. Wednesday night, last night's Secret Revealed episode of Vanderpump saw Raquel and her fellow server Charlie visit the couple at their home as Ariana mourned the loss of her beloved childhood dog, Charlotte. What Ariana didn't know was that just hours before the 28-year-old had slept with Sandoval 40 for the first time, triggering a months-long affair at the end of their nine-year relationship. I mean, was it the first time? Do we even know at this point? When Raquel walked in with a bouquet of pink roses, the 40-year-old Schwartz and Sandy's co-owner was the first to greet her as they beamed uh, uh, at each other and embraced. He joked, you got me flowers? Oh, my God, I love it. Hugged her for a second time. Sandoval told Raquel, I haven't seen you in so long. So, yeah, we got to see all those moments, uh, uh, you know, come out where it was just, you know, dirtier and dirtier. And, you know, now that we know that Raquel shared what she shared, was this the first time that Tom Sandoval spoke, having known that? So when Tom Sandoval did... Uh, Howie Mandel's podcast, we can assume he had his record straight. We can assume him and Raquel were on the same page, but Raquel kept on getting more hate and more hate and more hate. And whether she did it for altruistic reasons, like I just want to tell, uh, I want to share my truth. Or maybe she wanted to get back at Ariana and say, oh no, honey, it wasn't just a one-time thing. We bumped our Harrisons all over the place. I mean, should we have an uh, Andy Cohen? She, uh, he, uh, We crushed our Cohens all over the place. Either way, the point being um, is that Raquel has changed her tune whether they're still together or not can't be known, but Tom wants Raquel to speak for herself. Be careful what you wish for. Here's what Tom has to say. People are worried about her mental health. Um, I don't have any comment about her. Okay, is she doing well though? Like, uh, that's, that's a comment. I, <laughs> I love him. I have no comment about her, but is she doing well? He goes, that's a comment. Okay. All right. Um, Tom Schwartz just came out and said he's stepping out and he's not really talking to you anymore. Do you have anything to say about that? No, he that? didn't say that actually. He did it? It's been corrected like five times. Oh. I love it. Tom Sandoval goes, no. And again, this isn't a big deal. There are so many bigger stories. But I absolutely love correcting the media because they suck so, so much. LA Times, Tom Schwartz stepping away from Tom Sandoval after scandal. Didn't say that. People, Tom Schwartz says he's stepping away from Tom Sandoval permanently after incredibly messed up affair. Didn't say that. Cosmopolitan. Tom Schwartz is stepping away from Tom Sandoval drama permanently. Okay, at least Cosmo kept the drama part of it. 
Good grief, they're horrible. I mean, we covered this story yesterday, which, by the way, they're they're threatening me with a content strike for covering this story. It's like, what, what, you know, anyway, that's that's another story for another day. So here, did Tom Schwartz say he's stepping away from Tom Sandoval permanently? I don't think so. I think they just took random quotes and pasted them together like it's, uh, you know, some sort of, um, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, ransom note here. But yeah, so anyway, I, I covered what Tom Schwartz actually said, and it wasn't that whatsoever. Mission to be in. So he said, I'm done with it permanently. It being the Sandoval drama. So I, I say all that because it's like, you know, th uh, this is one of the reasons why people watch my channel because we see this bullshit and, you know, like always, it's not a big deal here, but the same thing happens in p in the political world, election season. We, we, it's, we are so drawn to shitty headlines and look, I get it. There's the person who writes the story and then there's the editor who's just there to punch the story up and make people click on it because it's a media is a dying form, uh, you know, platform. And the only way to make money is through sensationalism. Different story for another day. Let's continue. Okay. Yeah, so you guys are still talking. Hear what they want to hear. He said, uh -huh. he's, he said he's indefinitely over the scan, talking about Scandaval. Okay. Not Sandoval, yeah. Scandaval. Okay, okay. Is it not hilarious to anybody else that he has to refer to the worst thing that's ever happened to him in his life? Again, his doing, but he has to refer to it as Scandaval. Like, he has to besmirch his own last name because it's so popular in the uh, pop culture world that that's just what it's called. Okay. Yeah, so this will be like probably the fifth or sixth time that's been cleared up. But all right, yeah, all right. I just, just had to make sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, is this him moving? He's at a U-Haul place. By the way, this would be great. This would be, you know, for all of the companies that Ariana's worked with, how funny would it be if Tom Sandoval gets a U-Haul sponsor? Kicked out of your house you had with your longtime girlfriend because you made a really bad series of choices and can no longer live with her? Get a U-Haul. As far as the t-shirt comment, use my coupon code SCANDAVAL. <laughs> You're getting a lot of hate for it. Do people take it out of context? Yeah, they or, did. Or is that what you really meant? That is, I, I've never body shamed Ariana ever. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. So it was just taken out of context. It, it was not, no, 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 I don't know. That. So he says he's never body shamed Ariana, and I don't know to agree or disagree with him. I, I've only watched this last season. I think feel like body shaming is the least of his worries right now, but... I do like it when someone clarifies their comment. Now, before I play the rest of what he said, here was the initial comment. Someone asked him, did you have sex with anyone else after you hooked up with Raquel? And then Ariana, his ex, goes, um, yeah, you had sex with me after. And he's like, well, with a t-shirt on. So here's what, here's, have a quick listen. No, you know who he did sleep with after him and Raquel started sleeping together? Me. Yeah, she kept her t-shirt on. It was really hot. And then Andy Cohen speaks for all of us when he goes, oh boy. And then of course uh, the crowd, and this is where I was watching this live in the, um, in East Point, a bar in the East Village in New York City. And the TV almost got ripped off the wall, the feminine energy and the feminine rage that I was, I was there being like, don't look at me, ladies. Like, I, I, I didn't say it. Look at, look at, <laughs> Oh. And for those that are listening on the uh, Bachelor Rush Hour podcast, I'm just looking at the facial reactions of all the contestants to be like, I can't believe you just said that. You're such a f***ing dick. What the oh. f***, dude? <laughs> and then Lala goes, you're such an epic. And everybody, it was almost that moment where everyone had to process what Sandoval just said. Disgusting. Oh, you're really disgusting. disgusting. Sorry, dude. You're disgusting. What was that? And then even Schwartz goes, how did you say that? Here, look, Schwartz has his hand in his head. Yeah. Oh, I want to throw this at the TV, but and, I won't. And, and meanwhile, again, if you're not following the story, we've got Sheena, who can't even be in the in the same room because she has a uh, a temporary restraining order against Raquel because, she, or I'm sorry, Raquel has it against Ra Sheena because Sheena allegedly punched Raquel. Raquel had a cut on her eye, and Sheena's like, "How could I punch her? I, I have long fingernails," and it's like. Sheena, you definitely punched Raquel in the head. Like, I think we can all agree that that happened. Since then, Raquel had dropped the restraining order. But the fact that we've got... This is like Jerry Springer if Jerry Springer only took place at a West Hollywood restaurant. Disgusting. Just like, you're disgusting. You're so they all... Disgusting. So they all take turns calling Sandoval disgusting. And I think we can all agree, yes.
that was taken out of context. I think people added their own context. So, so then Sandoval says here with the U-Haul, he says, uh, and again, if you're listening on the podcast, he's outside of a U-Haul place getting his bags, half interested, talking to the TMZ guy, but he probably called the TMZ guy. You know what I mean? Because you, you know, that's what you do when you're a quote unquote celebrity is you call the TMZ guy, you say, I'm going to be at the U-Haul place on Ventura. And then they show up and they ask you questions and you pretend like they're bothering you, but then you give all of the answers, but you have to be sort of begrudging. So Sandoval knows what he's doing versus when Raquel called TMZ, she was sitting outside of like a nail salon and it's been very cold in Los Angeles. Like people don't realize how cold it can get. It's very dry, which makes like, if it's 50 and dry, it's very cold. I'm just telling you right now, your blood gets thinner when you live out here and the winters are very hard to deal with. Pray for me, please buy me a turtleneck. So so Raquel sitting out there on a cold June gloom day, it was probably May or Mar April, whenever it was, and TMZ approached her and she was very willing to talk. And it's like, okay, so scripted. But in this case, case it's tom sandoval begrudgingly talking but not not talking to the tmz and he's clarifying his story saying i wasn't body shaming her as if this solves all the issues oh wait what's that tom sandoval wasn't body shaming her okay well just pack it all up no story here okay so uh, it had nothing to do with her body or anything it had to do with somebody being very just in off uh, unenthusiastic. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Unenthusiastic. Like, yeah. If somebody like wanted to have sex with me and I like just unzipped my zipper and said like, oh, hurry up, I gotta, I gotta meet somebody yeah, for lunch. Yeah. It, it was more about the unenthusiasm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Also, those, those glasses. What are these round? <laughs> the ridiculous glasses. Either way, he says, I wasn't body shaming her. She's just boring in bed. So uh, when's, when's Raquel getting out? Do you have any? Um, uh, there's a lot of people. Which is, by the way, Ariana accused Tom of being that way, of using her as a human fleshlight. No idea. Out, yeah. So you have no idea? She's, no idea. You, you guys still talk or? Uh, yeah, I just don't want to comment on anything with her. I let her tell her own story. Okay. When she's right. ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. Well, <laughs> Hope it, yeah, I'll you're welcome. You All right, see you. Thanks, man. I'll call you later. I'll text you when I need you again. No, look, I mean, hey, this is how it works. I don't blame Sandoval for calling TMZ, whether he did or didn't. Is he wearing a tracksuit bell bottoms? What in the 1970s is Tom Sand? If, you, if you're listening on the podcast and want to watch this, we'll have it up on the YouTube. But either way, I, I always say fascinating stuff after I cover a story. This story is wildly fascinating. My parasocial relationship to this Vanderpump story, I might go to the Vander to Sir for lunch today and just get some uh, food there just to see what's up. Just absolutely, why, should I do that? Should I take, I'm gonna take my lady to lunch at, at Sir. Is it expensive? What do you guys recommend? Leave a comment. All right, well, that's gonna do it for me and Sandoval. And it, I guess my question for the audience out there is he coming off more likable? I, I'm, it's, I, I struggle with not smiling when I ask this because I feel like the answer is no, but will he redeem himself and enter the crowd? He's not going to lose Tom Schwartz as a friend. Sheena says their friendship's over, but we've also heard that she's talked to him. So will Tom Sandoval somehow become a part well i'll say this i'll say this before i go the saddest part about watching the secrets revealed last night for me the saddest part was seeing happy scenes with ariana and sandoval when they went uh, roller skating and, and there were several scenes where you go oh man he really ruined this if he was able to find out maybe that he's a, you know, the, his own issues with needing the new, the new fresh thing, if he was able to figure that out without cheating and work on himself and evolve, maybe they could have a happy life after, you know, a uh, happy life. But either way, he freed her by his own cheating and she's thriving. And I wish them all the best, to be honest. I don't, I don't wish misery for anybody. I think they've all suffered enough. But let me know what you guys think. More content coming to you guys later. Bye now.